Hi, Crystal. This is Tony Grant from Feed Me Leads. We spoke on the phone and I told you I would send you the screencast. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I want to go uh, over how I would get your website ranked. I send out screencasts with a bunch of free information to different business owners, but often when they see what I do, how I do it, and how much work I put into it, they'll want to team up. If you want to, uh, my, I can always be reached at devour, D-E-V-O-U-R, at feedmeleads.org. Um, I just want to go, I just want to go through your, your site really quickly. And I'm going to go through one of your competitor sites. Then I'm actually going to give you three ways that you can use today for free to start bringing in more traffic to your site. All right. So here I am at your homepage. It's a good looking site. Time and money, obviously, easy to navigate, but there's not a lot of content. I notice uh, Google is going to be, uh, and by content, I mean, just word count, number of words on the page, verbiage. Google is going to be ranking your website based on around 200 different factors. One of these, those key factors is going to be content. You want to have a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words on this homepage. I did do a word count on your, on your, uh, your, your homepage here. And here at the bottom left, you'll notice it's 462 words. So we would definitely want to add in some more content on here. Uh, we also want to make sure that content is quality educational content. Google's going to send out their bots, crawl through your site, and uh, determine whether or not this, the content on there would help Google's users. And uh, believe it or not, they actually come up with a number, and you can, <laughs> you can actually go visit it. And so over here, I've popped into Google. Um, here at Google, you'll notice the very, at the very top is uh, the ads, um, the Google ads. Below that is is uh, a map pack where you they have the three top um, companies that uh, Google has chosen to appear next to the map pack. Um, they are chosen for from a variety of means, of course, uh, as you would imagine from Google. But one of the most important is is citations. Uh, it's uh, citations are. Um, a citation is when your business is listed on an online directory. So Yelp, Yellow Pages, Yext are all good examples of online directories that people use and, and they trust a lot. I'm going to switch over here to another tool that we use, which is uh, Local Citation Founder. And it finds that you have uh, 25 citations. Here they are below. Um, you know, anything from uh, Facebook to Issue to Bing to Yelp to BBB. Uh, and then it also says that you have 49 opportunities. And the opportunities are um, uh, directories that your competitors are using uh, and that obviously you can use as well. Um, so uh, I'm going to go down here back to Google and scroll down a little bit. And you see down here below the map is the uh, what they call the organic search results of this search engine results page, the SERP. Um, I'm going to go to uh, skip all these uh, sort of top 10 things. And I'm uh, going to go down here to one of your top competitors, uh, Foundation Repair in uh, Topeka. So here it is. Here's their web page. Nope. Here's their web page. And uh, you'll notice they also have very pretty, you know, obviously they have great things to show. And all you guys are, are lucky to have such a visual, such visual product. Uh, but you'll notice that they're also fairly short on, on content. In fact, their word count shows 798 words, which is still far short of the 1,000 to 1,500 uh, words that, that Google recommends for the front for the home page. Um, so let's let's talk about backlinks for a bit. Uh, um, and I'm going to go over here to Ahrefs, um, which is one of my favorite tools. Um, the, the, we're here in the in the uh, the the home and the uh, home search page, the search results page. Uh, we're going to see the organic search results. And this should be your main area of focus. It's going to be your best long-term ROI. Google has actually come out and said that over 70% of people, when they are when they type something into the search box, they're going to check, click on one of these organic search results, and they're almost always going to click on one of the top few. Um, so uh, in addition to good content, it's, it's uh, in order to rank organically, you need to have a lot of high-powered and relevant backlinks. A backlink is clickable text on another website that when somebody clicks on it, it leads back to your website, basically like a shout out. You wanna get these backlinks from high-powered and relevant sites. Obviously, that's gonna be a lot more credible to your, to your uh, customer or your client, pot, 
potential client if they already know the company that's blinking back to you and they, they give them a certain amount of trust already. So um, what I did was I went ahead and, and uh, get, went to this tool that I love, this RFs, and I went to your, your competitor and entered their, uh, their, their address into the, uh, the backlink checker. And we notice up here in the top left that they have a domain rating of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That's out of 100. Uh, so there's some upside there possible. They have 34 backlinks. And you'll also, but you'll notice here down at the bottom of that their, their backlinks go largely from themselves to themselves. So uh, obviously this is not given a lot of weight by, uh, by uh, uh, Google. And uh, there's also this, uh, this uh, other thing here. There's no follow tag associated with it, which means that uh, they're not, it, it basically tells the search engines to not follow this, to ignore it. And, then, and so they, of course, discount that quite a bit. So uh, this might account for their very low 0.5 uh, domain rating. Now let's click on over to your site. And uh, we have a 1.5 uh, domain rating, uh, obviously uh, better than zero, but it's still out of 100, remember. Uh, backlinks are 596, much better than their 34. Uh, and uh, only 27% uh, of them, however, are do follow. And they... It's not unusual at all, but many of their, their backlinks are from themselves to themselves. Uh, and it, you're come, you come from 67 uh, referring domains, and they come from 21. So that's great. A lot of, a lot of re references from one domain aren't really going to count for that much, but many, ref many domains referring to you is going to count for a lot. So to recap uh, what we talked about today, um, number one, Add more content and make sure it has location-specific buyer intent keywords that bring in a lot of traffic. Two, more citations that get you ranked on the map pack. And three, more high-powered relevant backlinks. If you're interested, I'm at devour, D-E-V-O-U-R, at feedmeleads.org. Thank you very much.